Alright, so... Alright, so what's going on, James, and welcome to uh, Angels of Death. Now, uh, there is an animated series of this game, and, uh, yeah, there's four chapters in this. Just so everybody knows, there's four chapters in this. Uh, this is the first chapter, so... Wow, okay. Wow. Sorry, <laughs> a little distracted. The big man. Okay, let's go. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so you can reach 35 subscribers. Wow, god, jeez. Alright, anyways. That just happened. So here we go. Boop. New game. Enter, of course. So what? Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna toggle the thing next time, but for now, let's just do it on like this for 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 this video only. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All of a sudden, I get the sneezies. And uh, you know. When I do the toggling, it might not work. But who knows? Okay, so... This is the girl. The protagonist. Oh my god, jeez. <sighs> sorry, sorry about this. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> a little bit of a nose issue there. I don't know what the heck. All of a sudden, I get sneezed. Probably because I got this freaking fan on. That's probably what's doing it. <laughs> Whatever. Here we go. Uh, let's get it back into this. All right. A blue full moon. A blue full moon. Is it night? Where am I? I was at a hospital. Ah, that's right. I'm pretty sure I was in the medical e examination room. At any rate, I gotta hurry and find mom and dad. Okay. So, Rachel Gardner, Ray. Ray is like a nickname to Rachel, I guess. So this is Rachel Gardner. She is the protagonist of this game, so... This isn't the same hospital as before. Gate's gonna be very important later. Uh, something's written on that wall. Who art thou to know thou must find out for thyself? Is it thine true self or thine desired self? An angel, a sacrifice. Know thyself and the gate shall open. Okay. There's a machine with a card installed into it. Insert it into it. It appears the card cannot be taken out. Oh. There's a computer that has been turned off. Okay. Oh. Reflection is a cast in the mirror. Just my usual self.
the computer automatically powered on indicating some sort of program. The info screen is open. Enter data. Please enter the following name. R Rachel Gardner. Age 13. What are you doing here? I'm pretty sure I was at the hosp at a hospital and when I came to I was here. Why? 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 Why the hospital? I saw someone I saw someone die. It happened right in front of me. So I was brought here for counseling. What will you do now? Leave this place. I want to see my mom and dad. Entry complete. Disturbing play. Oh, disturbing play. Start key card. Oh, disturbing. Distributing. Okay. A key card is sticking out of the inside. Or another key card. Can I get out of this place if I use this? Still, I wonder what it means by play start. I might do this chapter by chapter, but depending on how long these chapters are, but... This elevator, it only opens... It only has an up button. That's odd. I don't remember being down... Being here in this basement. The girl on the bottom floor is hereby a sacrifice. All floors please make preparations. Beyond here lies the play area. The gate will open now. Okay. That announcement just now... What did it mean? It appears the elevator that goes to an upper floor. The elevator only has an up button. The elevator, there's no reason to continue here. Alright, floor B6. This elevator's... The elevator's... Stopped. Am I inside the bill inside a building? Something's not right here. Anyhow, where's the way out? This is B6, okay. Flies buzz around the garbage. Yeah, I bet they do. There's a heaps of garbage, okay. <laughs> Huh? Gotta hurry. I don't recognize this place at all. Why? Why am I here? There's a newspaper. Will it shed some light on this place? 
a reckless murder. On date... On... Date... Dedicated. The body of a male was found on street... Redicated in st state redicated. The body has been the body has gapping wounds seemingly infected by a sharp blade. Authorities are treating it as a murder. Since last month, a string of similar murders have taken place in this state. No. What? No. Assassination or similarities have been drawn with the victim. So nearby res residents are asked to experience caution. Exercise caution, sorry. <laughs> Can't read today. An article about a murder? There's a poster, but it, it's too Stattered to make out. It looks like a back alley. It looks like a back alley. I'm a little scared to go back, go down it. Yeah, I bet you are. That can't be. This is the building's basement. The door is locked in the keyhole. Uh, an emergency exit mark. An exit says elevator passage. Is the elevator in there? But it won't open. There's not even a keyhole. How am I supposed to open it? I gotta find a way to open this door. Guess I'll take a look around. Places I've get to explore. Oh, right, the bird thing. The door is locked. Yep. Okay, that chasing is going to be annoying, though, for sure. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Here's we do a space inside his depth. Oh, there it is. Okay. A bird is chirping from a hole in the roof. What are you doing in this place like this? Come here. Are you weak? How can it... How can it get down here? I wonder if, if it's hungry.
Ah, yes. A back alley murder. On date. Redicated. Yet another body was found on street redicated in state redicated. A nearby resident was found in town, town's back alley. It's believed to be a teenage boy, but uh, but his identity is unknown. <sighs> Jeez, what do I have? It's just all of a sudden what I'm reading. Uh, the body sustained severe lacerations and the innocent and the incident is being treated as one of several serial murders. Serial murders? Okay. There are traces of reddish brown splatter of some sort. It reeks of blood. Something inside the hole. Oh cool, I got a key. What door does this key open? The back left door doesn't have a keyhole, so it must be meant for another door. Oh. Forgot there was a thing there. Someone be fitting awaits you on each of the floors here. Each are bound by a rule to never leave their floor. If you violate your life, if you value your life, you have no choice but to ascend the floors. I think I'm starting to get some progress going now. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure the key is for the door way over here now. He's the door. Oh, there's some sort of drug. Yeah. Serial killer. On date, registration remains of John. The remains of John Smithy were found in a factory in town. Based on the wounds, it is believed to be the work of a serial killer who has been shaking up this town. The factory worker, John Smithy, 26, was a hard-working, earnest, and upstanding young man. The incident occurred. The incident occurred on the same day he had extremely told co-workers that he was getting. A new core. Excitedly. Okay. Uh, this random murder spree has plugged the town into fear. Plunged the town into fear. I'm inside a building, aren't I? I want to get out of here now. Okay, I don't really care to look at everything, so...
the only thing left in the left in the large box is a single bag of snacks. Cool. What a waste of a what a waste for a box be box this big to be empty. Heck, it looks like I could fit myself in into it with a room with room to spare. That's pretty much like a hint, basically, so. Door's locked, yep. All right. So now I can give the snacks to this bird. Will it eat this? I'll put a bag of snacks. It is hurt. One of its wings is covered in blood. Hey, are you hungry? Good. Eat it all up now. You're so precious. Saving its hunger won't help it fly. I gotta make you better. Make you all better. It's alright. Hold still. Now you should be fine. But I worry, so you're coming with me. Okay, got a bird now for some reason. It's coming from the passage on the other side. What's that sound? It's scaring the bird. <laughs> the passage. No, I gotta get out of here. It's all right. Don't be scared. Wait. Oh, you motherfuckers. All right. Wait. Here we go. Don't be scared. Let's leave this place together. Okay? Well, okay. <laughs> Okay, yep. Wipe that stupid smug look off your face and surrender to despair. I will give you three seconds head start. How far can you run? No, cry, scream, and beg for your life. Show me this despair on your face. Yes, more. Come on, it couldn't hit shift. What couldn't it enter at all? My bad. Doesn't really help me, but I'll see if I can do it. <laughs> Got it. Got at that time. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long. Huh? Where the hell did that bitch go? Uh, 
this room. Shit, it's locked. Guess I'll unlock it. Shit. Is it gone? I hope it it doesn't come back. I gotta escape this place before it finds me. If it catches me. The bird. Bird. Alright. This way. Damn, that was freaking hard. I don't know why I'm making that hard. I worry about the bird. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the bird is ripped in two. Two. At least let me give it a proper burial. Come here. I'll take... I'll take you there. Is there somewhere around here that that'll make a decent grave? What about some tools? Right. This shovel will be able to bury the poor little guy with the shovel. Cool. All right. No. You're not my little birdie. Not like this. Not like this. This shouldn't look like this. This is just cruel. I gotta fix you, little buddy. There. You're all better now. I'll make my birdie all better. Look, good as new. All that's left is to bury it. Ah, come to think of it, I had a feeling that something fell out of its stomach earlier. Oh, a key. It's crazy that it swallowed something like this. So what do I do now? Door is open. I can't go through here now. Did it unlock it? Ah. Okay. It's locked. Ah, okay. Uh, maybe the key back left door will open from here. A narrow passageway continues down below. Okay. What is this place? There's a switch that says elevator passage gate. Will this open the back left door? This means I. I hope this means that I can get the heck out of this place now. Okay. 
is going to be a little more of a problem here. Okay, it's the chase thing again. I gotta hurry. Mmm. Not again. <laughs> Peekaboo! Found you at last. <laughs> well, I locked the door. I should have done that before. No head starts this time. I can't escape. Hold it. Alright, there we go. That was actually much easier than before. I don't know why I made that so hard. Very weird. Hey, God. I didn't... I didn't get caught. What the heck is that... that... thing? The quicker I'm out of here, the better. The elevator stopped. I also gotta find a way out. All right, uh... Wait, wait, Rachel. It's me. Uh -huh. Do you not recognize me? I was the one who ex examined you. Can you try to remember? I'm... I'm the doctor who gave you counseling. The doctor who examined me? Rachel, what's wrong? Look, it's me, Dr. Danny. <laughs> Daniel Dickens. Danny. <laughs> Could it be? Doctor. Doctor Danny. The therapist? You're a little confused, huh? But I don't blame you. This place is horrific. But rest assured, it is I, your therapist, right? Uh, that's right. Yes, doctor. Good. Besides all that, you're safe. Doctor, what on earth is this place? Also, something was chasing me. What was that thing? I'm not exactly sure myself, but... The thing chasing you is probably the psycho killer. The psycho killer? This place, it's like a site for some game. Being hunted by a psycho killer and goes as and good as dead if caught. It says that it chases its victims. Are you not hurt, Doctor? I was here when I came to. It looks like there's there's no other staff here but me. Doctor, I'm actually petrified. Rachel, it's perfectly natural to be scared. 
At any rate, let's get going. If possible, I'd like to get through this whole ordeal alive with you. Yes, doctor. All right, therapy time. Oh, it's locked. I'm pretty sure there was a key in the examination room. Nice job, Rachel. I'm pretty sure it was sitting there. You didn't try to escape? Oh, well, I was worried about you. Besides, I've got a good head on, my sho on your shoulders. You've got a good head on your shoulders, so I knew you'd make it this far. <laughs> should use the key from earlier. What's wrong? Using the key to open the door. Perhaps the way out is further towards the back. Let's proceed with caution. Looks like there are multiple rooms. I think the one in the back is the way out, so shall we look there first? This way's locked too. Shall we look elsewhere? We'll be fine if we stay together and take our time. Maybe it'll lead to something good. Something good for the both of us. We're glassed in as fate would, would have it. It appears you and I are trapped. Ah, uh, this must be the private. Pri must be a private room. For patients, yeah, a special one. Do you know what your heart wishes for? It is desire. If that is your impulse, then there is no point to resist. For being here, you possess no such essence. However, every wish has its price. Just don't break the rules. Rules? It must be rules for this place. For instance, the, that guy chasing you wasn't followed hasn't followed you all the way here there's got to be some sort of rules this place follows what do you wish what do we wish for what does that mean well different strokes are different folks for different folks I guess for me, it'd be a set of beautiful peepers. I got a bad eye. I don't care for its color either. Rachel, if I had peepers like yours, that would be oh so lovely. This is a private patient's room. Don't be scared, Rachel. It's just a bunch of beds. Yeah, just a bunch of beds, right. Right. 
Rachel, do you know what these markings are? There's a hint. Patients made these scratches, so what's their significance? Beats me. Beats me. That's okay. Markings made by patients are of no coincidence. No circumstances to you. There's something written on the wall, but it's covered in dust and eligible. I gotta get rid of that dust. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You'll get something on your eye. That's surely just some sort of patience for a various whisper. Just a regular Joe's physiological grip. That's all. Can you make it out? Nah, I got a bad eye, so it wouldn't do much to read it. But the dust... Stop right there. You don't want to get anything in your eyes. Take care of these... Those beautiful peepers. Those beautiful, beautiful peepers of yours. Oh yeah. Come to think of it, I had a key that leads to the back. Feel like taking a look there pretty soon. Of course. It's been a pleasure being with you though. Okay, I'll open it then. Oh. <laughs> it's dark, so be careful. An operating room? An operating room. Yes, Rachel. I'm a little scared. Scared? Why? Hey, Rachel. Your peepers. Can I admire them forever? Oh, Rachel. Your peepers are so beautiful. But they're stricken. stricken with fear. Reduced to such dullness. It saddens me. Show me the true beauty of your eyes. We'll awaken from this nightmare. Restore the beautiful tranquility of that blue moon in your peepers. Rachel, I, I long to live beside those peepers. Doctor? Let's take a minute to look around here. Maybe I'll find something. I left something important around here. I gotta find it. Maybe you'll find some peace of mine too, Rachel. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... Sorry, I'm taking an hour here. <laughs> Bottle. Okay. Rachel, are you going further? It's dark in that alleyway, so be careful. If you find what I'm looking for there, then please bring it to me. What are you looking for, doctor? Did you forget? Look at me with those beautiful papers. I know you'll remember. Here's a clue. My eye is Alexandrite. Okay. 
What is this place? What is this place? Is what you're looking for around here, Doctor? Numerous glass eyes are inside. Which one should I take? Red, blue, or green? Uh, let's do red. Red glass eye. Uh, hmm, I don't know if this is the right one, but... Here, Doctor. Rachel. What a lovely red glass eye. I fancy this color. Is that why you chose this color? Were you thinking of me? Still, you were close. Close, but no cigar. I'll keep it, though, okay? I'll try blue this time. Here, Doctor. Ah, <laughs> Rachel. Is this for me? You know I adore blue eyes. Much like yours. But I don't need blue one. Need a blue one. To your peepers. This... Pupils in... Contrapation. For peepers of blue, all I need is you. Let's try the green one then. Here, Doctor. Green, I see. Did you pick this one out for me? Rachel, could I have slipped into your subconscious? But you're getting warmer. Point your beautiful gaze at me. It's just me, Dr. Danny. Oh, Rachel, I was so careless. My glass eye is in a place that's locked. And the key was in my pocket all along. Here. What? If it's all right with you, I'd like you to find my eye. Won't you do that for me, Rachel? Somewhere that's locked. Here. The glass eye is inside. This glass eye, it has two eyeballs jammed into it. Rachel. Doctor. Oh, you found it. This is what I was looking for. Is this glass eye yours? It sure is. Does it not make you feel anything? Remember anything? You must be dreaming still. Mind if I borrow that? I'm not... I'm just not myself unless it's in... I must have it in for both of us. Rachel. Yes? Thank you, Rachel. I'm gonna put this in now. Could you go wait in the room outside for a bit? It's a long chapter. You mustn't run now. That's funny. He's acting strange. I'm scared. Is it safe to s stay and wait for him? Wait for him here?
It's locked. Doctor, did you do this? I gotta get away from him. I need to find something to open this. I wonder if there's something around here, around where the doctor was earlier. Something behind the... Oh, a crowbar. Oh, nice. This ought to take care of that job, that door. Just behind... Oh, right. I'll pop this into the gap. It's rigged, but rigid, but just a bit more. There, it opened. Uh -huh. Rachel, where are you going? I, um, didn't I tell you that running is a bad idea? This is my floor. D doctor If you run off and to another floor, then I can't treat you. Now can I? <laughs> no, doctor. My wish was just to gaze into your loving papers. But no, this won't do. You're living Blue peepers are exactly what the doctor ordered. That's why I gotta ask you, Rachel. Can I have your peepers? Let go of me. Never, never. Doctor! Oh, Rachel. Her face. Stop it. Let me go. The exuberance I loved is no longer in your peepers. It saddens me so, Rachel. Can't you remember why it's your why you're here? Why is it you're here? Why this is happening to you? If you could, then you'd redeem yourself. Let your peepers regain their luster and come live with me, Rachel. No? Please, Doctor, please, let me out of here. Rachel. Still, your peepers are more breathtaking than any other person's by far. Uh, let me go. I want to see my mom and dad. Rachel. There, there. You'll see your mom and dad in good time. They're waiting for you. In hell. Okay, Rachel, give me your peepers. Rachel? 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 Oh my, your peepers are so beautiful. It never caresses to amaze me. Here, I'll release you from your, from this right now. Alright, let's go, Rachel. Oh, am I happy as a lurk? You. 
Wee. Wee. Hey, Danny. What are you so happy about? I couldn't take it anymore, so I slashed you. Hey, little missy. Going after you got me in a hell of a mess. <laughs> do you want to live? If you do, then run. Run, Miss Squirm. <laughs> Cling to your hope. Time to get slashed. Dull reaction. Even with that tip of, even with the tip of my blade pressed against you, don't you have the will to live? I'm a respectable male adult, so I'm not into shuddering emotionless dolls. Let's try your alert. The sixth floor's master has attacked the fifth floor's master. This is a violation of the rules. Along with Rachel, the betrayer also is now here by a sacrifice. way. Shit. Better run for it. Oh, yeah. I'm not meant to live. I'm sorry I'm going way over the limit with this, but, you know... The glass wall is shattered. The wall is shattered. Shit, it won't budge. Not even if I beat it in. Beat on it. What the hell am I gonna do? Who the hell are you? What are you doing showing up here like you're... You owe in the damn place, huh? Um. I got a favor to ask. Uh huh. Please. Kill me. Ugh. Don't ask me that. Don't ask me to do that creepy shit like that. I got no time for crazy bitches like you. If you, if you're just gonna spew out creepy shit like that, how am I? How about getting this door open? You got it. I believe it's up here. I'm not fully sure. Inspect his pocket here. Yeah. Acquired a key. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. For what, though? I don't know. <laughs> Appears to be locked. 
If you use the key that was in the doctor's pocket, just maybe. Alright. There it is. There's a switch that says elevator pass key. Oh. Is this? Mm -hmm. We're almost done, don't worry. I wouldn't know. I probably didn't. <laughs> hey, are you the one who opened this stove elevator? Yep, that's right. Yep, that's right. <laughs> so it was you, huh? Hey, did you say earlier that you wanted me to kill you? Sure did. S I'm such an idiot, so yeah. Let's work together to get the hell out of this place. Then, what's near... Or looking outside with a goddamned stupid grin? I'll kill you. Really? Really? Well, that is, if you behave. Okay. All right, now let's get the hell out of this place. Isaac Foster, Zach. Okay. Hey. I got two rules. No fucking around and no prancing around all merry like. I got a big problem with fuckers who look so happy. Whenever I see them, I can't hold, I can't help but kill them. <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, with that dead look in your eyes, I probably ain't gonna worry. <laughs> it's chilly here. Shit, we're... St Still only on B4? Let's get out of here already. Move it. Okay, I think that's enough. That's enough for today. I can't do this whole chapter. It's insane. whole first chapter is crazy. Alright. Alright, so that's the uh, gonna be the end of this one for now. I know I'm like way over an hour on this, maybe like less than an hour, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? But anyways, uh, that's going to be uh, it for this one. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach 35 subscribers, please. Yeah. And uh, on that note, bye.